The Herco Control has a specific block for bar pulling or bar feeding and, and also. But here we're using this as a bar pulling device. Notice under strategy, as I've highlighted it, you see some, some selections there, the F1 through F5 uh, soft keys. We select the one that is you is both most represents what we're trying to do. And the one I have here, tool guides a stock. You then have two different positions that you can uh, put in for a starting position and an ending position to move the, the part out. So it's going to go to the X1 and Z1 position, which is an X of zero, Z of minus three inches. So we're assuming that this part has been cut off. We're going to wrap it to a negative three inches position. The chuck will then open automatically. Therefore, um, assuming that we have a bar feeder, it's going to bump up against the stop and then move to a Z position, second Z position of 30 thousandths in front of the part. The chuck would then close and the tool would go away. That was going to leave 30 thousandths of material that we can face off when we begin the part. If you notice in the little image on the bottom right corner, <clears throat> we have fingers pull stock. I select that one. You now see that there are three positions for, uh, there's an X1, X2, X3, and Z positions. So we're going to use uh, the one position, positions over the stock. Two would then go down into location to um, engage the, the fingers of the puller on the stock, move out to the Z position of the third location there, and then it's going to move away. So we can program bar pullers or bar feeders by use of this block.